Hello, I'm a cocoa and vegetable farmer. Today, we're going to look at insect management in our crops. The good management of the insects on your farm requires a set of different practices called integrated pest management, including prevention, good detection, and adapted cultural practices, such as crop rotation, fighting against biotic and abiotic stresses, by providing fertilizers, but also sufficient water and biostimulants to support crop growth. This is followed by the application of organic or conventional crop protection products while alternating different chemical families and different modes of action. In order to best protect the crop, it is first necessary to correctly identify the pest and its stage of development. This will help find the best way to control it. There are a multitude of insects, some of which are harmful to the crop and are called pests, and others which are useful and participate in biological control, which act as predators of pests, for example, or pollinators. It is therefore important to know how to distinguish them in order to effectively control pests while preserving the beneficiaries. Interestingly enough, alternating different crops avoids always having the same insects and therefore the same pests. In fact, a given crop has specific insects that it will attract. For example, growing maize after growing vegetables helps break the growth cycle of pests associated with vegetable growing. Gall nematodes, which are very specific to vegetable growing, will no longer be in optimal conditions in the presence of cereals such as corn. This will reduce the selection pressure of this pest on your farm and crops. On the other hand, avoiding stress for the plant makes it less vulnerable to pest attacks. Fertilization, as well as biostimulants, are levers to support the healthy growth of the plant. This further contributes to the integrated pest management program. Then, if the pest pressure remains high after the previous tools and techniques have been used, we can consider applying plant protection products registered for the crop in question. Organic products can be used to control these pests. If not, conventional products can be considered.